We have now heard seven days of testimony in the Adam Montgomery murder trial. The prosecution has been going from witness to witness, but today one witness was forced to appear after a warrant was issued for her arrest. Legal analyst Patricia LaFrance joins us live tonight. And Patricia, the judge says things are moving extremely fast. We could hear closing arguments possibly by the end of next week. What does that tell you? Well, you know, it tells me that perhaps the defense isn't cross-examining some of the witnesses as much as the prosecution anticipated, because again, if you remember from the opening statements, they did concede some of the charges. So perhaps they're not going at the witnesses quite as much because, you know, if you take too long and you've already conceded something, you, you might fear that the jury might hold that against you. So, you know, and and with a trial this length, it's, it's so hard to predict down to the day how long a witness is going to take, uh, you know, and combine that with, you know, over 100 witnesses. So I, I sometimes, you know, you give the longer longer length of a anticipated trial just so you're you know you're not running into any issues now there has been a lot of evidence shown in this trial trial so will the jury get another chance to look at it once they go into the deliberations for this yes they will so any evidence that has been entered as a full exhibit um if you if you notice during the trial they first mark them for identification you know states one states two and then you 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 hear them ask that the identification be struck and then it be entered as a full exhibit so that means it can go back to the jury room if there's anything obviously that's um you know has bodily fluids or something i think it would be wrapped um and and the jury might be instructed how to handle it in the jury room or or perhaps um there would be a sheriff deputy or court officer that would go in and handle it for them. But yeah, for the most part, any pictures or any documents or anything, they can uh, look at that in the jury room and, and look at it for as long as they need to. Well, prosecutors are discussing a tip that came in this week to the tip line. Someone watching the trial called that Harmony tip line on Tuesday, and then they did an interview with Manchester police. So there is a possibility that the state may call that person. So could there be any sequestration issues since this person has been watching the trial and all other witnesses have been sequestered? Yeah, I mean, the state would have to jump through a lot of hurdles to be able to call the witness at this late date. Obviously, they were not on the witness list, um, so the defense would argue that this witness should not allowed to be presented to the jury or called as a witness. Uh, you know, the state would have to really show good cause as to why, um, you know, they only found this witness now, particularly since this has been such a, you know, the, the media has been all over this case for years now. So, you know, the the, the state would have a, a lot of hurdles to jump over to um, to actually even be able to call this witness. Legal analyst Patricia LaFrance, thank you so much for joining us today.